Hello artist! Welcome back! If you're watching this part 2, for sure you have watched my part 1 of this tutorial. So most of the things that we're gonna do here on part 2 is to finish off the painting, blend the colors, put highlights, and then finish the hair as well and the accessories. Alright, so first off, I'm just gonna finish off her eyeshadow with that orange color. So I'm just gonna put that right on the inner corners of her eye. So it's like putting makeup on her inner corners. Oh, by the way, um, I just want to remind you that always mix your gouache with a little bit of water until it's kind of creamy because that's the best consistency of the gouache that you can put on your painting. That's I think that's my opinion, but it really works for me. Now, if you notice, I really work on slowly. So to avoid mistakes, yeah, don't rush your painting for better results. Now, as you can see, I'm leaving a little bit of space there on the inner corners. So that's where I'm gonna put the highlights later. It's like the sparkle of the inner corners of the eye. Now to blend that eyeshadow color that we put there, I actually mixed the orange with our medium brown so that yeah, it would look blended and then I applied that on the upper lid of our girl hair. Just a little reminder, whenever you are layering with gouache, uh, make sure that you don't put lots of pressure on your brush strokes whenever you apply another color on top of the other so that the color below um, won't be like, um, won't look muddy. Using the same color that we applied on the blending color of the eyeshadow, I applied that on the cheeks as well. So if you can see, I applied that in the middle of our uh, were a light brown and medium brown so this is like a bronzer effect uh, like a blush on effect <laughs> so this kind of color will act act like a blending color so yeah, um, if you have watched some of my videos, I always mention like the mid-tones, the mid-tones color. So this is one of them. Um, using blending colors or mid-tone colors that I always do on my paintings, I believe they kind of harmonize all the colors in your painting. So it will like trick your eyes that as if your colors are blended but they are not they're just layered but yeah kind of in a gradient form but yeah I believe that this harmonizes the painting then when you're using this kind of mid-tone color just always use light strokes don't put lots of pressure on it so that, yeah, I mentioned before that it won't look muddy. Um, I forgot to mention this, but gouaches, dried gouaches are being activated whenever you put a wet paint or water just right above them so whenever you put another layer of gouache I mean wet gouache on top of the dried gouache it kind of activates and kinds of blend in with the new color that you put on top of them 
So yeah, right now I'm just putting this color on the parts of the face where I want the colors will look like kind of blended. Um, let me just fast forward these parts where I'm putting this blending colors. It's just the same technique. So yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward this a bit. After that orange medium brown, I mix the medium brown with the light brown. Uh, this is another blending color that we're gonna put on our painting. And uh, this will go right here. Um, just beside the light brown and once again I'm just using light strokes I'm gonna apply some of that color right over here just for a little bit of a highlight, like a medium highlight. I'm gonna apply that color as well right over here so that the light brown won't be that overwhelming and it will look, yeah, um, once again, blended. So since this is like a blending color once again, I will go over some parts where I think it needs that color so that it will look more blended as it is right now. Then here I'm mixing the medium brown with the dark brown and yeah this is a blending color for our dark brown. And then again I'm gonna apply it with light strokes. So this is like a an in-between color between 
the, the medium brown and the dark brown. So most of the time blending colors are in between colors of two colors that you already have on your painting. So at this point, I'm still doing the same thing, blending the dark brown with the medium brown using the in-between color that we mixed. So yeah, I'm gonna fast forward it a bit again so that um, this video won't take that long. And here I'm just going back with our dark brown and making some details on the ears of our black girl. And finally we have reached a stage where we are going to put highlights. Um, so most of the time highlights are present on the inner corners of our eyes, on top of the nose, on our lips, eyes, forehead, yeah, um, most of the time on the places of our face where it's like the highest point and that's why um, most of the time they get all the lighting effects. Alright, so currently I'm applying a color which is a mixture of our light brown and then I added a little bit more white to it so that we can achieve like a um, like a creamy white brownish creamy white color um I, I usually call this like the medium highlight because it's not the final highlight yet so there's like a transition going on as well on the highlight so first medium a medium highlight and then like the whitest highlight at the end so techniques that I use whenever I put highlights, um, light strokes, most of the time light strokes from the brush, um, the, f the brush that I use most of the time are Filbert or like a liner brush. Um, sometimes I do like dots technique whenever I do a highlight since I think it will look like it's uh, sparkling. Let's not forget our decolletage as well. Let's put some highlights there so that it will look like it's like embossed. So I'm currently still using the same color. The white, creamy, brownish kind of color that we, that we mixed. So, and then here, I added a little bit more white and that peach mauve color that we have. I added that to our medium highlight that I mentioned or the, the thing that we, the color that we just used just now. So, if you notice, this is a bit lighter than the highlight that we applied first. So right now I'm just applying this color on the parts of her decolletage and later on the face on the parts where it's like a bit shinier than the other parts where there's highlight. Alright, so now at this point, I wanted to show you how I apply this color on her skin. So this is the actual speed that I am currently.
Alright, so right now I'm showing you the actual color that I mixed. So this is mostly um, the peach mauve color that we used before and then I added white and a little bit of cream, cream brown. So this is like the final highlights that we're going to be using on our painting. With the actual speed, I am showing you how I put like one of the lightest highlights that I use on a face. And here, as you can see, I'm putting this color as dots. So um, this kind of technique is like imitating the sparkle effect if uh, there's like a highlight on a face. Let me just beat this up a bit. Alright, so as for the final, super final highlight, let me show you how I mixed that. So I'm just putting white and then the last color that we used as highlight. And yeah, that is the super duper final highlight that we're gonna be putting on our painting. So it's almost white with a hint of a pink. And once again, with the actual speed, let me show you how I apply that as like a super duper final highlight sparkle sparkle thingy i don't know how to describe it but yeah i think that's what i'm doing
Now, um, let me fast forward it again since I think um, it might take forever before we finish this video. So yeah, if you don't mind, let me just fast forward it for a bit. And yeah, finally I started with our hair. Uh, I'm actually just painting like a base color, which is the color black. So I'm just gonna paint like a circular, circular kind of shape for our hair. But later on, I will show you what I did on the hair. I'm not really gonna explain what I did, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you um, quickly. <laughs> um, I think I might be creating a hair tutorial or something regarding um, how to create or paint a hair with gouache so yeah um, I'm gonna fast forward this again so basically on this part I'm just doing all the parts where it actually has black so uh, this isn't really a part of the tutorial that's why I'm not really gonna explain um, in detail but yeah, um, it's like I'm just doing the, the accessories part and that includes the hair. <laughs> anyway, so this is how the rest of the painting went. Um, I'm not gonna really like explain it in detail. I'm just gonna fast forward everything from here on since we already achieved the objectives that we had for this video which is the color of our painting I mean this the color of the skin of our painting which is a dark skin tone so yeah I'm gonna fast forward everything from here on <laughs> I'm so sorry By the way, a special thanks to Nurse in Wonderland for suggesting this video. And the signature means that this is how our painting will end. I hope you all guys learned something from this video. I really did my best in um, making sure that I explained how I mixed the dark skin tones. Um, anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. See you guys again. Bye!